Hey, 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 everybody. <laughs> this is kind of a different kind of a, a, a YouTube video for us today for live. So if you are on, thank you for coming on with us. I'm actually doing this recording for my telephone in my living room, and I am going to be showing you a haul video today. So if you love junk journaling like we do, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button as well so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. And so YouTube just sent out the notification because it's like all over my screen right now. We can't see ourselves. <laughs> So we're just going to wait for a few minutes and hang out and you all let me know if you can see us and if you can hear us. Hey, keeping it real with the Millers. Hi, Monica. Thanks for coming on with us. Um, just let us know if the sound is okay and the light's okay because I have some, I have a, a ring light in front of me, but I don't have it on because it's like super like bright and it, it'll kill us. Okay, so you can see us. Okay, wonderful. So I know y'all wondering who this person is that's with me, but I'm going to introduce her in a second because I just want to um, just give some people time to pop on because YouTube just notified everybody. But hey, Linda, and happy Halloween. It's a Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> it's Halloween. <laughs> we might get some knocks on the door. I don't have no candy. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a light on outside, but you know, it's still light outside. So I'm surprised it ain't no little kitties running through the neighborhood already. Because usually this time um, on Halloween, the kids are already coming out, but I don't see any. Which is, I mean, I like the kitties and stuff, but I don't have any candy for them this year. So um, also, if you uh, like junk journaling, you can head over to our Facebook group, which is Junk Journal Buddies. And the link is in the description below as well, I think, because... Y'all, it was a spot of a fiasco for me to kind of get this going today because this is kind of a test, but not. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in because I think we're going to go a little long on this video because I have somebody to shuck and jab with. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is my, I call it my cousin's sister. It's my cousin's sister, Bobby. <laughs> and hey, Linda. And she is actually a fellow artist, because that's what we're calling ourselves these days. We are artists. So she's a fellow artist, and she's here from out of town. And this, she's the reason why you have not been getting more of me this week. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we have been busy having a lot of fun and doing uh, our little artist slash crafting stuff together. So... <laughs> And so we decided to do some thrifting as well. So we actually went to a few thrift stores. Let's see, we went to Goodwill this week, and we also went to some estate sales today. So, um, like I said, this is kind of out of the normal, and we're going to do uh, things a little bit differently than we normally do it. And so I might show you a few items that are not craft-related, but we thought it would be kind of fun. So uh, we got some stuff, and I got, did I say your name? I didn't even say your name, huh? I'm just a sister is, cousin. Oh, sister cousin. All right. Sister. <laughs> All right. So, sister. So, I probably got way more stuff than she did. And every time we went in someplace, I said, I'm not going to buy any more books. <laughs> and then I bought a whole bunch of books, y'all. So, um, I don't know where to start. Just pick something up. Just pick something up. Okay. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you all is... This is junk journal related. So actually Bobby found this and it's this little book and it says you are doing a freaking great job. And it actually sounds like in her voice because that's how she talks. <laughs> you are doing a freaking great job. And the reason why I decided to purchase it is because it has like all these cutesy cutesy little sayings in here. Oh y'all everything is backwards. I don't know how to get, I don't know, are you all seeing the words backwards on here? Wait, let's see. Y'all tell me, are you seeing the words backwards on here? For me, it looks backwards. So let me know if you are seeing the words backwards, because I know that can be kind of a little awkward. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's not backwards? Good. Alrighty then. So it has like all these little sayings inside of here, you can see. And I thought these would be cool to use and make into like journal cards or um, even like put them in notes with happy mail 
and all that good stuff which by the way jennifer if you're on the way i got your happy mail today so i'm not going to open it just yet though so i'll put it over to the side okay good hi i'm oh y'all know what the chat goes real quick on here so if i miss saying hello to you all don't worry about it oh we about different oh i'm sorry Mr. That's, or Mrs. That, keeping it real with the milk. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is Monica. Monica is actually part of our Facebook group. And Monica asks, do we um, purchase different type of things? I guess I should explain because we actually do different type of art. So I do more paper crafting and also, um, hey, Wendy. I do more paper crafting and junk journaling stuff. And you do. I I guess I should introduce myself for real. I'm Bobby. I have a, di a bachelor's degree in art and applied design. So I know how to do four different types of um, functional art. But my main, when I graduated, my main focus uh, was metal. But then they make us do textile art too as part of our curriculum. And I actually love, love, love textile art, which is actually called fiber art. And so I make art quilts and anything that's fiber related. And technically, paper art, which Liz does, is fiber art too. So we're both fiber artists. We just use different types of fiber. So, oh, thank you. What's, who is that? Wendy or Mike? That, that's Wendy. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I do, I do pretty cool stuff and I, I love it, but I'm so in love with these junk journals that you guys are all making and hers are so beautiful. So I'm very fascinated, but I am not <laughs> about to start a new craft. I tell her, I look at her stuff and I go, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. And I think she looks at some of my stuff that way too, like, mm, no, nope, not doing that, but I will love it. <laughs> and you know what that makes perfect sense because it's like a, this when we went to an estate sale today y'all gonna be doing a lot of chit chatting so be ready for it but we went to an estate sale today and they had these uh, cases for lenses for camera lenses and they had just a whole boxes and boxes of them they were like you can do crafts and they were trying to convince us what we could do with these camera uh, cases and so um yeah, I need to make her a journal. We, we already talked about it. <laughs> and I'm going to make her a quilt. So we've already mm -hmm. decided to do that. <laughs> but they had these bo all these boxes of these things. They were trying to convince us what we can make out of them. And I just told the lady, no, that's not something I'm interested in. So it's like you have your type of uh, your art that you like to do. And some, some things you just like, nope, I'm never going to do that. So... Some things she does, I'm like, nope. And like the junk journal, she's like, mm -mm. she's like, it's beautiful, but no, I, I can't get into that. It's not going to wake for me. <laughs> so that's where uh, we are. But it's still, we, there's still some similarities and we can share some supplies too. So since I do a lot of sewing and stuff, then she was able to use the whippersnapper to finish up some of her projects or get some of her projects going while she was here. And of course, you know, like cutting mats and, you know, like, you know, basic supplies everybody has. There's things that she could use too. Even like the Cricut, she could use the Cricut to do like her quilting because it can cut like the squares and stuff like that. So that's nice. So book versus fabric, what takes more room? What takes more room? Um, I think your space is taking up a lot more. <laughs> you have a lot more stuff than I do. I got a lot of stuff, so <laughs> I have to say, like, y'all, if I don't answer your question, that's because I didn't set my computer up, so the chat goes away real quick. So I'm going to try to uh, answer the question. <laughs> I think off, the question I, was answered. I think the books, too, because <laughs> I have a room um, that's outside of where I actually, where my desk and stuff is at, and it's full of books. And I'm going to show y'all some of the books that I got today. And I just bought, today I bought like 20 five books and um i already like the other day i probably bought like 10 books so i just got a gazillion books and i'm gonna have to do something about that because i i'm an addict hi my name is elizabeth and i'm a book addict <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do that too so monica says she ends up spending more time organizing oh i didn't get the whole thing but <laughs> i think so she can get stuff done yeah 
I spend a lot of time organizing too, but I, I like the process of organizing as well. To me, it's like part of the whole art artistic process. But y'all notice I'm not using crafting. It's all part of the artistic process. I told her to stop calling herself a crafter because nowadays crafting had, takes on a negative uh, connotation, I think. And if you define yourself as an artist, then you are an artist. If you're making things that are art related and you're not selling those ugly little things with chickens on them that you see at craft fairs, you're an artist. Yep. Hey Joyce, welcome. Something. Welcome to the show. <laughs> All right. So let's go through, let me, I'm going to try to go like kind of quickly through some, cause I got a lot of stuff. So let me do a few of the books. So Bobby actually found this for me too, because since we know what our art is and the supplies and stuff we need, it's almost easy to pick the uh, pick up stuff and say, hey, look at this. So she actually found this book. So y'all see this? And it says, uh, fairy tales from around the world. But look how beautiful this cover is. I don't have the light. I think we're losing the light. I might have to turn the light on. That's fine. You ready I'll for have it? to take my yep. glasses off. Yeah, because so. our glasses are going to be like um, shining. <laughs> So now I can't see myself anymore. Oh, look away. Look away. <laughs> My eyes. I'm melting. <laughs> okay, so we got the bright lights on now. That's not that bad, I don't think. Well, okay. that's because you can see further away than me. All I see is colors now. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so don't die, Monica. Don't die. All right, so this is what the book looks like. And it's actually kind of pink. Y'all, look at this book. It's amazing. It's brand new. We got this at a garage sale. And I don't, y'all, I don't know how much I paid for most of this stuff. So I'm just going to show you what I got. And y'all know, if you're in the, face, in the Facebook group, you know I'm kind of cheap because... Sometimes y'all say, like, you pay 50 cents for a card or 25 cents. I'd be like, I ain't paying 25 cents for no card. <laughs> I'll, 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 like, try to be like, can you bundle that together? That's how I roll. And I'm, she's been teaching me, too. I'm she's, good at haggling, right? Me. Yeah. I'll admit it. I am good at haggling. All right. So, you're an artist, too, Gretchen. That's what I'm talking about. We, we're artists. Because, you know, people have a problem with the, uh, with, with, they think crafting people will just make junk. And I don't think that's true. So you can be an artist with us. All right. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so this book right here, and it has like some, not probably too much light, but it has some beautiful pages in here. It has some nice illustrations and stuff. And then, of course, I know it's better when I show you guys the desktop, but in this little setup here, we can't do that. So you couldn't see me. You, you get what you get. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Don't be sorry, cause I'm on I'm on the camera. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go through these books really quick, and I'm not gonna pull them all up, cause I just have too many. But I was able to. We went to a little a little thrift store, and they had these books. Let me see. I can't read okay. what they're saying. <laughs> we are blind. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to get the glare off the books or whatever. You'd rather see the sister cousin? <laughs> right on. That's what I'm talking about. So, y'all, look at these books. They are so adorable. Some, some, They range from, like, the 1930s to, like, the 1950s. And they're, they're like, the little teenage, um, um, what do they call mystery? them? Mystery? Yeah, they're mystery novels. So, there's some um, Judy... No, we got Nancy Drew books. So that's a Nancy Drew book. And then which one? And it got the Bobsy Twins. So if you're old enough to know who the Bobsy Twins, which I'm not, but I've heard of them before, but I didn't know that they did like, I don't know if these are mystery novels or not. The Bobsy Twin novels, but the covers are just amazing and beautiful. And I got like a gazillion of them sitting next to me. I was able to pick up just a ton of them. And it's kind of weird because we bought some at a thrift store it was like maybe like five, no, it was 10 of them because they were they wanted too much for those books. And I was like, if they don't give me a deal, yeah. I'm not picking them up. And, and I just she asked ain't them. Lying. She I, will put those books back. <laughs> so I asked them, I was like, hey, can you give me a deal on these books? Cause I don't really want to pay that much. No, we're going to have company right I mean, now. Oh, my brother's coming. <laughs> Duck. 
Hi, we're on camera. We on camera. Hi, Uncle G. Hey. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so here's some more of the books right here. We got more books. And let's see, we got Judy Bolton Mysteries. So we got some Judy Bolton Mysteries. Some more Bobsy Twins. Y'all, look at the covers. I have to get close so you can see. The Bobsy Twins. And of course... The pages are nice and vintagey, and some of the books are a little stinky, but they're not that bad. And I have to tell her, stop smelling the books. I do this. No! <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want me to get mold fungus disease. <laughs> but they smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> no smelling the mold, okay? So, of course... See y'all, here's more. There's more. That one has a glare. That's hard to see. I know. This damn light. Okay, wait, I'm gonna turn the light. Woo! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna turn the light down. Oh, that's better. Okay. So y'all have to say, is it better with the light or without the light? Because it's getting a little dark outside, so I don't know how much light. Look them all. <laughs> 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 it's better with that. <laughs> okay. We're going to go without the light. All right. Here's another one. This is Nancy Drew. Oh, yeah. That's much better, huh? So, y'all already showed you like about 10 books, but aren't these like some amazing covers? And the, most of the covers are in very, very good condition. And y'all know we don't really care about that. Okay. So, I'm not going to go through any more of those books. So why don't you show them some of the things? Well, I'll show you some more books in a little bit. But why don't you show them some of the stuff that you got for your, your art? Well, she got a whole lot more stuff than I do, so I'm probably going to run out before her. But this isn't art. I just thought it was funny. So I got this book. <laughs> How to be friends, what? How to lose friends and alienate people. I just bought that so I could read it. That so, has she can, to do with so she can alienate people. Uh-huh. Most of my stuff is just stuff. I didn't get really art things because we were going to estate sales and I have to get on a plane to go back to um, Indiana. Don't so. make me cry. I'm gonna miss you. I know. Hi. <laughs> hey, Mom. Okay, so you might need the... So this is a spoon rest. Look at this thing. I got that... For, and there was a... Um, that was, was an estate sale. It was at an estate sale. Look at all the little things, like grains and stuff that are in the, in the resin. I just thought that was just too awful. Right now I'm using a sushi plate as a spoon rest. I keep going off camera to grab stuff. I bought a hammer. <laughs> she, she bought a hammer. You know what though? What was that hammer, like a dollar? You can't go wrong. A dollar 99. It's an yeah. old hammer, too. So old rust, rusty hammer. But I'm telling y'all, let me tell you. My brothers always use my hammers and I could never find them. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. And, you can't, it can't hurt having extra hammers around the house. And, you know, I need these even for my junk journals. Don't ask me why. But we got a hammer. Yes, yeah, antique one, y'all. It's like all rusted out and everything. But I was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. And all she got Does a thing? hammer just need to be perfect? No, it doesn't. It's just like junk journals. It's nice and antique and rusty. Okay. Antique and rusty. Antique and rusty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is what I got um, for art wise. It's kind of hard. Maybe I should have took it out of the bag. Yeah, but... take it out. Oh, okay. Well, bust that bag open for me. Well, you can just open one bag. Oh, okay. We'll open one bag. Y'all, hang that thing, please. Oh, yeah. Y'all, hold up. I'm trying to at least get one bag open so you all can see what's inside. That bag is poopy. I think this one will open. Well, I'm just going to break this bag open. Yeah, I can give you a Ziploc bag. So. I think we can find another Ziploc bag. Okay. Oh, you probably can see what's in there. Yeah, you can kind of see. I got a whole lot of embroidery thread. I embroider. Just so you know. I've done like the coolest stuff, you know, because I like to toot my own horn. That's another thing about being an artist is you're, you have to learn how to toot your own horn. And I have a hard time with that. So I'm going to do that here with you all. <laughs> Pretty. So we found a whole bunch of bags of these. And she actually, as we were saying, we found stuff for each other. 
She found these, and they were only a dollar bag, y'all. Woo-wee. Yippee, yippee, yeah, you eat. My husband, or yeah, I might as well call him my husband. He's going to put me out the house. That's what I keep saying, because I'm coming home with a bunch of crap. <laughs> okay, and so I found this, and I'm still deciding, so y'all can make a comment about this. You may need the light for this. This is an, okay, I'll show you the edges and stuff. This is a napkin, but it looks like somebody did hand applique on it. Can you see that? Yep. And it's got like, it. like hand stitching on it and all that good stuff. So I was like, something has to be done. Whoever did this, did this by hand and with care. And I need to embroider. I need to add to it. So I was thinking, or should I just hang it? like put it in the frame the way it is but i think it should have embroidery. so what do you all think do you think that she should do some more embroidery on there or should she just keep that little piece and just kind of what would you do with it i would probably i don't know exactly what i would embroider but that would probably be something you and i would talk about oh hammer time <laughs> <laughs> we still talk about the hammer indeed it's hammer time <laughs> All right, so in between, I'll show you all some more books. So here's some more books. I probably have some duplicates because I got the books at different places. And I've never seen these books before, and they just kind of show up. They're showing up everywhere all of a sudden. So that's Nancy Drew, another Nancy Drew a mystery. This is my hidden staircase. Makes me want to read them, actually. And then here's another one. That's a Nancy Drew. Is that Nancy Drew? Yep. So that's a Nancy Drew as well. Hey Brenda, you're never you're not late, trust me. <laughs> we haven't got that far because we've been shucking and jabbing. So let's see. And then we have some more of these. Oh, this one's kind of different. The mystery of the ski lump jump. Okay, hold on. Oh lady glasses. Who is this one? Oh, this is a Nancy Drew too. So it has a different kind of a cover. Read them first, girl. If you knew how slow I read, I would have these books for 155,000 years. Point five. So I don't know if I be, would be able to read them before I used them or um, sold them off. So this is the Spider and Sapphire Mysteries. Sapphire Mysteries. Nancy Drew again. So let's see. No, Brenda, you haven't missed my videos because there haven't been any because she's been taking that's... up all my time. I'm blaming it all on her. And I haven't been doing my, I haven't been consistent with my videos this week. So that's why I brought her on so I can show you all who's taking up all my time. And then y'all don't get to see me. And she's the only one to get to see me. And if you want her address, just let me know and I'll give it to you. And send me some stuff. <laughs> send me some stuff. <laughs> all right. Here's a few more books because I have a billion of them. Oh, the Haunted Show book off with their head <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> <laughs> and the ghost of blackwood hill so i got a whole bunch of the nancy drew mysteries just a whole bunch all right so oh and i, got, I found a jacket y'all i got this it's a lee is this a levi jacket it's a lee jacket it's a lee <laughs> jean jacket and even though it doesn't have anything to do with this and nope i'm not cutting this up i actually just got it you know to give away aware it was like four bucks so i was like i'm getting it because it was in good shape so i would perfect. cut the heck out of that jacket but i was telling her like some of the places i go to like the clothes are so cheap i would definitely when she teaches me how to do some of the quilting that she does I'll definitely buy my clothes from there because it's like $1. Sometimes it's 50 cents for a pair of jeans and then I can do it. Can you show us your blanket? Yeah. She's going to show you like one of the things that she does and I love this blanket. I wanted to steal it. Well, this so isn't, bad. shut up. This isn't, this isn't very I haven't been elaborate. able to get my hands on it. <laughs> this isn't one of the elaborate kind of things that I do, but it's a rag quilt and I'm sure you guys have heard of rag quilts. But I do mine differently. I get my stuff from the thrift store, and she's in love with this thing. I, I can love this blanket. It's so heavy and nice, y'all. And I heard we heard it's snowing up north, and we're burning. We got look, we got shorts on. See, <laughs> we got on shorts, y'all. You wanna pull that closer and show them that? So hers has like she has like pockets in here. Look at the back. 
This light is hard. Let me see if the y'all gonna turn the light back on again. Close your eyes. Woo! <laughs> So, oh yeah, that's bad. Yeah. So this is what the blanket looks like, and she has like a lot of different patterns and things like that in there. Let's see, I keep all yeah. the any snaps and buttons, and you can open these and shove stuff in them if you want. So I keep all that stuff. So wouldn't that be cool? Like if you uh, had a blanket like this, and then you gave it to somebody, and you put like some notes and stuff in the pockets, and then tell them that it was in there. Don't you want to put it. something in there that's not that. A washable of course so if they washed it and they didn't look in the pockets and it would be like a nice surprise wouldn't it that would be kind of cool I think so it's called a rag quilt all right we so, can leave that in the background oh yeah we can leave that as the background there we go that's a fantastic idea <laughs> all right so oh, here we go. let me show you off. this book is very heavy and it's uh, called a Jepson Airway Manual. So this is, oh, let's turn this back on. Woo, okay. Right, so this is like a, uh, I know it's still kind of dark, but you know. No, it actually looks pretty good. Oh, uh, okay. I, oh, okay, if you say so. Anyway, it is, um, what the lady said is like a, a pilot's manual. And I found it, and I got it actually for, because it has lots of cool illustrations on the inside of it. And y'all know what I'm going to use this for? Y'all tell me what you think I would use this for. I actually wouldn't use this for like a journal itself, but what could we use these pages for? Let's hear from the audience. What do you think we would use these for? And it has, it's like thousands of pages in here thousands of pages in here and I got two of these books and da, 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 <laughs> you win Wendy collages because um, I actually got the idea hey happy Halloween I got the idea from Jessica Rapp's channel so if y'all ever seen Jessica Rapp I love her collaging and stuff and um, I've been inspired to kind of collage in her style because I, I love it and one thing that she does is she uses like um, manuals, like auto manuals, which I have, um, you know, auto mechanic manuals and things like this, where it's just like illustrations that nobody else would care about. And she puts them in the collages. And so I thought that would be kind of cool to actually use that. Hey, Kaleidoscope, I haven't seen you in a while. All right. So let's put, I actually have two of these and they are perfect. Y'all, so whenever I get my paper packs together, when I get the paper packs together, some of these pages are going to go in the paper packs as well. All right. Okay, show them something else you got. You guys never told me what I should do with that napkin. I got in trouble for being blamed about uh, taking up all your time, and then they said, off with my head. They don't want like, to talk to you. I they, guess not. They don't want to talk to you. They come here to see you. That's <laughs> I guess not. Oh, they came here to see me, okay? <laughs> well, I got one more thing that has to do with uh, something that I would make. Now, again, like I said about, oh, <laughs> she couldn't get into the chat. Kaleidoscope oh. couldn't figure out how to get into oh, the chat. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. Kaleidoscope, I'm Bobby. I'm her sister cousin. Hey, Seek, but you can't hide. How you doing? <laughs> I missed miss y'all. But... Next week, I'll be back to my um, regular daily uh, live stream, so y'all don't have to worry, because... I'll be gone on Saturday. Okay. So I got one more whole day. I might just pop up in a... Hi! I'll be um, Kaleidoscope. I forget to say y'all names. I'm not used to this. And plus, sometimes I'm like, what does that say? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's fast. It's going fast. Yeah. Okay, so I got this scrub top, right? So you see the part... Where it has the straps? Help me out, ladies. The strap. Pull That's the strap, strap right there. Pull that part out. Look, lady. Oh, it's see how it has the straps where it wraps around the back? Okay. So what I am going to do is take that and make it into an apron. As you see, well, dang it. You can't see it. There it is. There's pockets. So now you got an apron. So if you ever see one of those scrub tops at the, um, dang it, 
If you ever see a scrub top at the store or thrift store or whatever, that's one easy way you can make an apron. I have a garden and I like to carry my, besides my tools, I like to carry my music and all that kind of stuff, walk around. Thank you, Gretchen. I like to carry my music and stuff around and in the garden with me. And so I have an apron. So I, I'm going to start to try to find more of these just so I can make a bunch of them because, I mean, that's like the bomb diggity right there, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Hey, Penny, I saw you. All right, y'all see this one right here, the hidden staircase again. See, here's some more books. I told y'all, look at those. Look at that cool picture on the front. She needs to take this camera down. The witch tree symbol. And just show you the actual stack of books that she has. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy. What's this? The Ghost of Blackwood Hill. And this is a Nancy Drew too. The Double the double Jinx Mystery. So. I think this little hunched over lady is a theme. I think so too. She has bad posture. She does have bad. She got scoliosis. Because you know back then, everybody has scoliosis according to... <laughs> According to the schools, you know how you used to go to school and they would send the whole class. You had to get in line to go to the nurse's office and they check your back to see if you had scoliosis. Everybody has scoliosis because mm -hmm. the nurses were really, they were undertrained and underpaid. So it was just like, whatever. You, you got, got scoliosis. You got scoliosis. <laughs> This is another one that she picked out for me. I forget the things <laughs> You found a, the book of Ronald Wagon's love letters to his wife. Oh, that's nice. Wow. I love love letters. Okay, so Bobby found this for me, and this is like one of those stationary note card sets. And in the inside, it actually had the note cards, and they're like um, really long vertical cards. And they don't have anything in them. So they're basically they're brand new. And they're from 2003. So they're not, you know, I don't know what people will call vintage-y. Like, you all tell me in the chat, what would you consider to be vintage? Because we are now almost at 2020. And I know, like, for Etsy standards, vintage is, like, um, 1999 and back. But that's, like, 20 years ago. So, I think vintage is even um, farther back than that. Vintage is 50 years, you think? I heard 20, right? <clears throat> this, Etsy says 20 years. Etsy, for Etsy standards, is 20. Yeah, antique, antique is, is 100. 100. I know that. Antique is definitely 100, but there's nowhere where it says that vintage is a certain number. But for me, like, even like 2000, the early 2000s now is kind of vintage. Oh, look. I didn't even look. Y'all look at this. It's a envelope. This is the how the envelopes are. So someone said they thought it was twenty to twenty-five years, twenty to twenty-five years. Oh, then there's retro. Yeah. Good goodness. <laughs> I'm vintage. Ah! I haven't made it there yet. Well. <laughs> oh Lord, that means yeah. we're vintage. <laughs> yeah, we're vintage. We're at almost antique. Some of us. I'm older than she is, though. She's the baby sister cousin, so. Y'all, yeah, so here's the card, and then this is the envelope, and it's like, I forgot what they call these kind of envelopes, but this is kind of cool. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know what those are called. <laughs> so, dang, you're nearly vintage. <laughs> Aren't we all? So there's quite a few cards in here. Those are the cards, and quite a few envelopes. <coughs> so those are really, really nice. Yep, I think most of us are vintage too. So well, according to this, Etsy, we are. I'm going to keep this box, you all, and I could put like some beads or something in it so I could store stuff in it. So that's those cards that Bobby found for me. I think I was shopping more for her than me. I think so too. All right. So <laughs> let's see. <laughs> I almost screamed when my radio station started playing oldies from the 80s and 90s. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so y'all yeah, gonna try turning the light on again. It's getting dark. Okay, hold on. It's not too bad. 
You don't think so. Okay, hold on. Hold your eyeball. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Y'all, the light is so bright. But... See what it does in my glasses? Yeah, so I have to take the glasses off. It's not a look Does it look like a Okay. Guy. So, she found... Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that glare is a killer. Let's see. Nope. Maybe if I sit back a little bit. No, you were fine without the light. How about that? <laughs> 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 Penny says LOL. Yeah, this is a fiasco, isn't it? Okay. I have vintage so, eyes. We're getting closer to see, <laughs> but it's better when we're back so you can see the stuff. <laughs> so get closer to see. See? Can't see? Can't see. Can't see? Okay, for real. All right, for real though, because I don't have any more lights in here. I thought it was okay without the light to see. You don't think so? It, it yeah, looks dark just... to me, but I might have my phone um, down dark. Okay, y'all tell. Ah! Sorry. Okay, we're back in the dark again. I think my one eye. Can we see need our me. own show. You know what? We would do our if we were together because she's actually from out of town, so. You know what though? I just told her that we're both uh, getting a little meat flappy. And they said they need the light. Oh! See, I told you. You know what? I got a little bit of Florida tan going on, so I probably look like a silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's time oh, to get blind. You know what? You look like the lady on my cup. Hold up. Oh, she gonna go get her cup. Let me see if I not, cannot knock anything down. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, oh, well, while she's doing that. So I have stuff completely unrelated. Look at my cute little socks I got. <laughs> oh, my God. So where I am is where I live. It's snowing. Oh, this is me. Oh, we got to get the light now because you. Ah! <laughs> oh, you got a ring light? Yeah, that bright light. Oh, my God. I hold a soft, you know, we need the soft light. Well, I thought I had like the soft uh, filter on it, but God, dog, that light is like bright as H-E double hockey sticks, child. Okay, I'm just going to hang them right there. See? Is she sideways? That's her. Yeah, that's her. The silhouette. I there. need those earrings. On the love, grease, and hair, I mean love, peace, and hair grease. Shameless plug, you can get these over at pleasantcreations.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, okay, on back on to the thing. Okay, so oh, I'm showing you my socks. Okay, so it's snowing where I am. Ooh, that's like way too, there we go. I have to put it way up here because it's too bright. So what Liz said is, this is a test. So don't, she said we are, uh, need to put the light to the that's side. Right. LOL, Penny, you're probably correct because we are blinding ourselves. What well, can you smell? The socks? <laughs> Teresa? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's snowing in Indiana. God help me. <laughs> okay, so, all right. So back to these. So we found these at a, uh, it was like a community garage sale. And these are like, it says, this one has 288 die cuts in it. I thought this was stationary at first, so it comes like in this little pack. So, and it's just a whole big old freaking stack. Did I find those for you too? Oh, you did yeah. find those. I was these shopping for her. So some of these are used, but that's okay. So y'all look at these die cuts. I'm going to try to, did I mention where the quilt came from. She made it. Oh yeah. Bobby made the quilt. That's why uh, we, okay, let me get back she, to the glasses. She made that quilt. Yes, it's pretty. So we, we showed it, y'all could look on a replay and see why we had it stretched out and stuff. Oh yeah. But she makes these uh, rag quilts. So if anybody's interested, y'all can contact me if you would like a rag quilt for somebody for Christmas. Okay. She does custom quilts. Okay, so. These are all die cuts. Hey, Sandra. And anybody else I didn't say uh, say hello to? Y'all didn't know it's going to be coming. Y'all. <laughs> and I keep putting these daggum glasses on because yeah. I can't see. I Just, told her we need the old You don't need to chains. blind people with your light. Okay. <laughs> keep your light to yourself. So I know. Let's see. No. No. Y'all, yeah, these lights. Ugh. There you go. So these are die cuts that we got. 
Aren't they beautiful? What is the one it's that's like kind of coming pack. out? It's there was one that was kind of coming out, so you could kind of see. I mean, I don't know what die cut, if y'all know what die cuts is, because I didn't. See, they pop okay. out. We can pop Yeah, we'll call them pop outs. Let's see. There's Good. some cool stuff in here. Oh, I know. There's a lot of them, too. Look at this one. Can you see that? That's to my friend. It kind of looked like tombstones, though. I wouldn't want to get my <laughs> friend tags. They're not tombstones. But it says get well, and they look like tombstones. <laughs> They're tagged. She doesn't know, y'all. She doesn't know. Forgive her for what she is saying. So, let's see. Can't get the life on that. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Can you smell it? <laughs> uh, a tag would be a bit late for two stones. <laughs> It could be a toe tag. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lean in so I said far. You're in Halloween mode. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, y'all, it's just like a bunch of die cuts in here. So it said 288, but whoever had this, this, y'all, look, this is a big old stack, and they're all die cuts, and there's like a whole bunch on each page or whatever. So, this is a 288, and I got two of these, and with my tombstones. I'll just Let's see what that's in here. So, maybe one day, like when I have the the thing on the desk, you all can see it. I can go through each, go through them and you can see. Maybe I'll do that over on Facebook. All right, so if you all are not part of our Facebook group, you can go over there and join. The link is in the description. It's Junk Journal Buggy. All right, so anywho, so both of these are full of die cuts. Next. Okay, show some. Next. I'm telling you, I don't got much, so. Shut okay, up. so you, you shut, shut up. Shut up. So I got these little napkins. Okay, so I'll show you. I got two stacks of them. Dang. Damn light. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I got a couple stacks of napkins. Move this back so. See those? That's not um, actual eyelets. We move it back any further. I ain't gonna be able to see for real. Let's see. Nope, it's still too bright. All right, let's see. That's okay. Let me see. No. I needed a wipe. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> yeah, we still can't see. Well, I got a bunch it's of. It's all gonna light. Well, it's that's okay. It's a Maybe... killer. You know what? I mean, maybe we can do something come on earlier tomorrow. I don't know. And when it's more like, who knows? Anyway, like she says, the test, I'm going to keep on saying that. But these little guys, I'll just stick them like right up to the camera. See, they kind of look like eyelets, if any of you guys know what that is. And I was like, they know. they know what that is. Okay, I wasn't sure. They know. I don't know what y'all know. We know a lot of stuff you know and probably more. All right. Dang it. I'm just saying. Yeah, because I didn't know something you were talking about. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I got a whole big old stack of these. The public school fiber artist. I did not go to public school, but she can keep saying that because she oh, went to public school. Oh, I forgot about that. Dang, that make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I got a whole stack of these. I got an idea. I was like, I could embroider on these. Or I could just use them as rags because they're only a dollar for the big old stack. And same, these are I'm going to use for rags. And these, that might make you sad. I don't know about if you ladies like. They're not sad, trust me. Oh, okay. No, they're not sad about See, that. See, they're just kind of funky, ugly little napkins. And I'm going to use these as because rags. Because you know what? Like if, like if us junk journal, oh look. All day. Look at that. <laughs> and I can put it up. Anyway, yes. us junk journalers, what we would do with this is, see, I can, you can make a lot of stuff with this. You can use this for <laughs> ephemera. You can use this for book covers. You can use this to make bags for your journals. But she's just really using them just for the napkins that they are, right? Mm-hmm. You could even use these in your quilts as well if you wanted to put some patterns in there and stuff. So you, you know. can, but I wouldn't. That's not my. Let me style. see this. Let me see if I if I put this up here. See. It looks better on your bosom. It does. <laughs> <Even the blinks. laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness. She just said Belinda Blink. Anybody out there knows what Belinda Blink is, then please say something. I won't be able to read it because I'm way back here, but she will. Belinda Blinks. Okay. So now let me just show you a few. I didn't even finish. Oh, I'm sorry. She Go kept ahead. interrupting me. So the reason I bought these, the ones, the lighter ones, was because I thought about embroidering on them. But what I was going to do is Teresa said use them as a halter top. Holy moly. They ain't gonna fit on me as no halter top. I'm just saying, I'm gonna need about three. I done gained some weight, but I want to do okay. So I'm gonna need about three, three. Yeah, photos. I need to take all of them and wrap them around my butt. I have, yeah, I don't have those. I don't got that much. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, she has this beautiful idea. We're both kind of hippie esque, and we like to save things and not use a lot of towel, uh, paper towels and stuff like that. So I see she has a big old basket where she uses, you know, old napkins to clean stuff up, which you would think is something that's common sense, right? I guess my non-public school education didn't tell me that. You said that I didn't. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, you know what? I got dirty little men in the house that like to, they want paper towels and I don't like paper towels. So maybe y'all can tell me if this is a good idea or if this will even work. Maybe if they see a bunch of, of these and realize that these have to get washed all the time, then maybe they might be a little bit more cautious about it and go, dang, I don't want to wash that. But they are guys. So who knows? That's true. Whatever. Because I just, I hid the paper towels in my house. Like, well, I stopped buying the paper towels and I only had napkins. And you would be amazed. They got them, they got along just fine without them. And they didn't use them that much. Yeah, so that's but, what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. You have to read that. <laughs> Fancy private schools. The guys <laughs> smell funny. <laughs> the guys smell funny. No, it doesn't work. Not in your house. It won't. Oh, the napkins don't work in your house. It works in my house. She only got one guy. You got, I, I stuck to my guns for a long time. So it worked in my house. You know what, though? Um, my husband, he buys, because he wants to use paper towels, he'll buy them. But the ones I buy to, you know, I'll hide them. I hate them, but I do buy them for occasional spills, certain kinds. I hide them. All right, book show and tell again. Nancy I know, Drew. I'm all off the, the subject. The hidden window. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Way to go, way there. back. And then we have uh, Mystery of Crocodile <laughs> Island. And y'all can see, this is what the back of the books look like. So y'all can blow it up on your TV or whatever. And then the 13th Pearl. The 13th Pearl. And y'all don't ask me what these papers that are on the bottom here. I don't know why they're sticking out. And the Scarlet Slipper Mystery. These are all Nancy Drew mysteries. Wait, with cool what would you do? See, what would you do with the back of this? I would use it the way it is. Yeah? Yeah, I would leave the covers just the way they is. It adds to the nostalgicness of this. <laughs> and actually on the back cover, it has like a listing of the books. All on the bottom here. I have to hold it way back here, and that's oh, not. That's not. There you go. See, that works. So it has a <laughs> listing of the books. So she's asking, what would we do with the back of the cover? I still would use this cover. I would use the front and the back. And if the spine is still good on here, I would still use the spine. So, and y'all look at the inside. Yeah, the insides are pretty. Cool. A little to the left. Look at the. <laughs> Look at that. That's the inside of the book. Isn't that just marvelous? I don't it know, is. This one. This is blue. Pretty much the same thing, but it's on the way back here. All right. What else you got? Me? Yeah. No. My stuff isn't else? that interesting. Yeah. It is interesting. No. I I'm got some I'm more pulling socks. you into the fold. Hey, 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 whoever that just was, because it went real fast. So they're is, white, so it's nothing to see, but they're kind of ripped. They're like brand new socks. They are, and they were like 50 cents or some crazy thing, and I was like, I won't buy the socks if I see they got stuff on them. I don't want that. Okay, brand new so Go ahead. this is some kind of Sizzix embossing die, and it's real small, as you can see, and it just has like a 
The books look great. Yeah, girl. I got a ton of ton of books. And she said your socks are nice too. Oh, thanks. The books are better. Because I know y'all came for the books. And yeah, I know you came good. for the books and not socks. It's okay. I love your socks. That's what you said. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> this is like just an embossing die. And like I said, I'll probably do like a close-up on Facebook and then you all will get to see these a little bit better. But And this was a really good find. This was actually at the same house that we went to where the lady was telling us about her, uh, her, her craft room. room. I was like, you want to sell some stuff in your craft room? She was like, oh, yeah. no. She said, I want to take you guys into our craft room. And she goes, can we buy stuff? You want to sell us stuff? She's like, oh, no. And then we lost the opportunity. <laughs> and new socks for 50 cents. You got to love them. Heck, yeah. Socks are expensive. All right. So, y'all, this was a good deal. And I will say it has $3.50 on the cover. And this is the Tim Holtz, some of Tim Holtz items. So y'all know this was, I got all this for $3.50. And these are brads. They're like really like mini brads. So I'm not gonna put them up there because you're not gonna be able to see them. So it's a whole bunch of mini brads, barely used. And then I have, these are some jump rings. So Pat never used jump rings. And these are um, like, clock handles is that what you would call it like on a clock the hands, hands on the clock the hands. clock hands and the brads that go with them and it looks like whoever this was they only use one so the rest are in here so i got that and then these are some clasps swivel clasp i so wonder if somebody used. somebody was trying to do some kind of steampunk something all of these Everyone gets quiet when Tim Holtz is mentioned. That's right, Timmy stuff. I got Timmy stuff. Okay? That's the only Timmy stuff I found, but I got this at a garage sale, so. That was a fantastic find. And, yeah, I got more books, but I'm not going to show y'all any more books, because y'all probably tired of looking at the books. Well, but, they're kind of uh, repetitive, so I know you're, yeah. not, you're not tired of looking at the books. But I'll show you this one, and... I got, this is called, it's a big old textbook, and it says Drafting for Industry. I don't know what industry it is. Maybe engineering or something. Or any and type of course, industry. And of course, y'all know I got it for the, the illustrations on the inside. You never find Timmy stuff on the cheap? That was a lucky find because I never find Timmy stuff either. I don't, I don't think. No, that's the first time I found, found Timmy stuff. But, all right. Maybe you got to go further back. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light off again. Woo! Alright, now it's like so far back. Okay, so hopefully y'all can see this. So you can see the illustrations in the book. And this is why I got these. This book, and this will be for collaging as well. Collaging. Collage. Yeah, collage. So we'll be doing some collage with that. Yep, Timmy is not cheap. <laughs> now, we get the, now we have the camera kind of far because we have the ring light and then the camera is inside of the ring light. So, because that's that's the only kind of setup I could do. Okay. Because so. she wanted me in there. That's right. It's I my mean, fault. I want to the illustrations are excellent. They are Pauline. Yes, they are. Okay. I'm learning how to reply to y'all. Okay. I've never done this before. Oh, we got ah! <laughs> Somebody give us an umbrella. Because when you first turn the light on, it's like really bright and then it's going to die down. So, but right now. Okay, and I got some forks. I wanted four forks, but the lady said that she had took one of the forks and ate lunch with it at the estate sale. And I was like, you can keep that one. <laughs> she said, oh, I took it home with my lunch. I said, you stole a fork. No! I'm like, I borrowed a fork. Where's my fork? Lady. So I needed some forks. So, you know, going to estate sales and even like garage sales and stuff, that's a good place to buy like silverware, especially if you have kids that pillage and plunder and tear your stuff up. Then, uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, Jessica Rapp, she loves like the uh, mechanics books. And I love them too because of her. So, uh, all right. So I got my forks for the kitchen. And I got like this really nice stack 
it's hard to see, but these are it's sandpaper. Because y'all, sandpaper can be kind of expensive. It's some 3M in there and everything. <laughs> oh, she's sorry. going off the camera. Oh. There we go. So I got like this nice stack, and it's like different kind of different grit grits. And just one, two, three. That's right. She did oh, real a whole good. bunch of pieces in here. And now just see. a whole bunch of sandpaper. So this will last me until the beginning of time. The beginning, so it's gonna circle back. Yeah, because it's gonna be like that go that long that <laughs> you gotta be a sci-fi fan to understand that, okay? <laughs> so it's gonna be going so fast that it's gonna end up at the beginning again. Well, I still do metal work and that would have been a wonderful, wonderful find. So that's a lot I'll of share something with you. That's okay. We're gonna let it last until the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> or it can last to the end of time if you need some. Okay, cool. Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Uh, all right. I got a few bags of fabric. fabric. Thank you. <laughs> so let's open the fabric up and look inside. How much is the sandpaper usually? Do you know how much sandpaper is? It ain't Sand one I paid for paper it. Is expensive. Would you pay two dollars for $2. that big old pack? Yeah. Mm, I think sandpaper is a couple of dollars for one pack. And so she, okay, so she got like a bunch of stacks here, and I think just this a couple cost a couple dollars, you know, by itself. Mm -hmm. She paid two dollars for all of this. Now, and keep in mind, so we went into this garage and it's a estate sale, and it didn't have a pricing on it. That's your window of opportunity. No price. So I always try to think ahead of time, like how much I would be willing to pay for it. And I don't go higher than that, and if they go lower, then that's great. So when I went up there and I asked her, I, I was fully expecting her to price it high because a lot of the stuff in there was kind of priced high at that place. Mm -hmm. And she said two bucks and I was like, I'll take it. So I didn't need to like <laughs> barter on that at all. I was willing to pay two bucks. So these are like some nice, oh, these are vintage fabrics too. This one has like buttons on it. They're vintage. And this one looks, this one is like a gingham, a gingham pattern here. Another gingham. A bunch of those. Oh, this is a bunch. Yeah. So maybe this was a, like for quilters and then. Ooh. I think these, are, yeah, we're both <laughs> with all the old I'm stuff. I'm getting nasally. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so we got a lot of this, a lot of fabric. This was all in one pouch. And I think that was like a dollar for all of this. All of this and I got another one uh. oh mothballs maybe that's what it is I don't know, it doesn't smell you. like mothballs it's just it was dusty we had to wash our hands like as soon as we left that place because you know that's somebody's house and and then one place old. smelled like they were smokers, huh? Yeah, we walked into one place. You could tell that they were smokers. It's interesting to see the lives and try to piece together these people's lives when you walk in. It's a trip. You and should... then, then we always talk to the people, too. So, have you ever seen moth mothballs? You mean, have I ever seen moths? It... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's seen mothballs, haven't you? I but I've seen, I mean, I haven't seen any mothballs in the actual uh, places I went to. But no, I've never seen the moths. But I have had, like, mysterious holes in my clothes. And my mom says it's probably moths. So I don't know if it's, like, moth larvae or something like that. But I tried using mothballs in my closets before. But they kind of, they smell old when you do that. How did you, how did you get... Huh? How did I get the legs apart? Girl, what you talking about? Are we on the right uh, live feed? Belinda Blinks. Yeah, Belinda Blinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know about that one. How did I get the legs apart? What? What leg? Can Girl, you what you talking about? That? What you talking about, Pink? <laughs> Pink, you me are you messing get with us? Uh, the mothballs? How, how do you get the legs apart on mothballs? 
Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Next. When you, yeah, maybe rewrite that. Yeah, yeah. With an explanation. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Okay, so we got some pink. Okay, this is some more of that same fabric. Y'all, I'm not going to try to hold it up close because y'all know. We got some issues, some lighting issues. Oh, that's cute. This is, it's like treasure map. Treasure map there. And so moths even have balls. <laughs> since we were kids. Oh, they do? <laughs> I never got that close before. Even with my old lady glasses, I can't see those type of balls. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is like some shimmery stuff. What's a lot of this too? Oh, I like that. That was like some good old school stuff. This looks stuff. like something, look. This would have went on here really nicely. Heck yeah. Totally. This might go into my quilt. All right, bring it on. So cottons and flannel and jeans. I keep telling her. Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of this too. Nice florally flowery stuff. Hey, Joey. Okay. So that's all of that. You said you don't have nothing else? That shirt. And that's it. And then this is like a vest. I and found vest. that too. You can see, of course, this is going to be a take apart because we can use this whole thing. So even this part right here of the vest and then this part we can use because it's like a cotton material. And it has buttons. We could take the buttons off and use those too. Mm -hmm. Totally reusable. And that was like 50 cents or something. And then, of hey, course, fam. Uh, I hey. always hit, hey, fam, <laughs> I always hit the mother load on uh, lace. So this was like 25 yeah. cents for some lace. I didn't know you picked that up. Yep. And this is a whole bunch of material. It's a whole bundle here of the same type of material. This will be good in a blanket as well. Mm -hmm. She said that she jeans. wanted that one in there. I think I like the fact that it has the blue jeans in it. Okay, now this one is some more embroidery, and this is hand stitched as well. That's definitely. I hand don't know what it is, but I just got it for the stitching. So I'm gonna put. Ugh, let's see if we can get closer so you can see. Yeah, you can see it on there. All the beautiful stitching on here. So y'all know me. I'm like the scanning queen, so I'll be scanning that. It has a drawstring. Oh, you just asked somebody. Oh, I bet you it's, it's them doggone trick or treaters. Y'all hold on. <laughs> I ain't got no light on. Yo, you got this light on. They come and they probably think this is the outside light. It's so bright. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't have any candy. Y'all so, have to go to the houses that have the lights on. Oh, yeah. I think people be busting their kids in here because we got the good neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know what that said. I can't see, but I want to know if you guys can, since I, it has that drawstring on it, if you can tell what kind of thing this is. It looks like a weird bag, but that don't seem like it would be. Okay, Liz, yeah. whatever they say, I can't see. I don't know if it said, that's pretty. That's what it is. It's pretty. <laughs> okay, and then, let's see. Y'all hey, still, still have a lot of stuff left. I don't even know what the time is. Oh, we're like over an hour. That's okay. And I found some samples. Woo! Sample. You get a sample. And you get a sample. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all like a whole bunch of samples. So this will be something I have to show you guys close up as well. And they're really like, um, some of them are metallic. They're, of course, they're curtain or upholstery samples. So yeah, I don't know. I got just got a, it's a gazillion of them on here. Y'all, I've never heard you say, I never. It's a whole lot of fluffs. Yeah, I never used to find samples before, but I've been finding them lately. All right, so and she can. Have, and your soap is like, ugh, this is her soap. She found yeah. soap auto, automatic book covers. Yes, ma'am. I got um olive and fig soap. It was just in their toiletry section of their home. It's and I bought a vintage purse. Nice little That's vintage so little coin purse here. Oh, and fabric flips. Yep, those will make great fabric flips as well. This is in good condition too. 
This is so such a lovely little purse here. So not really junk. This is not for junk journals, but I had to get that. Are you sniffing this? <laughs> it's just the soap. Here's the more soap. I got some Dove soap because I'm gonna make a Liz box. So it's gonna have my toiletries here. So when I come back, I don't have to haul a bunch of stuff. I can haul thrift store stuff home. So y'all, I got this. Um, how you open this? It's a stapler. <laughs> She's gonna smell all the scent out. And then, and you know, after that, I will not be responsible for what happens. That's all I'm saying. I don't know how to get this open, y'all, but it's like a, it's a mini stapler. You know how um, Tim Holtz has like the, um, his mini attacher. It's just a damn stapler. I mean, a darn stapler. So I got a mini stapler for a book. And it's um, one of the, it's a vintage one too. And it's metal and it's like a green color and it's pretty and I like it and it gets it on my desk and I'm going to use it all the time as soon as I figure out how, how to open it. Well, while she's showing you all her stuff, I'm going to probably fidget with it. Okay, she and then I got I got some paper. This is um, photo paper because anytime I find photo paper and it had a bunch of photo paper, but I it costs too much to get a whole bunch. So I just got one. And because that way, when I make, do my pictures for my journal and stuff, I have photo paper for it, which is nice. And I don't feel bad about using it because it is on cheap. Did you buy this? Oh, yeah. Another napkin with a nice little. It's not embroidery this time. It, it is but. eyelets for sure. Yeah. Eyelets. And, and there is embroidery on it. Yeah. So that's nice. So that's yours and then she found this and what is this those are waxing strips so you can rip the hair off of all your parts <laughs> wax but it's, strips it's just like muslin that's it and it, she paid 50 cents for a bunch of little oh yeah and i don't know what you want to do with that but i can find crafts. something and put my wax on here <laughs> wax her wax her and hairy <laughs> And then, so y'all want to see my hairy, hairy hands when I'm doing my thing? And I take my little strip and I stick it on there and ah, yeah. rip it off. So it's a whole bunch of these in here, too. So that's nice. Yep, the waxing strip. Y'all, I don't think I've ever used wax, and I don't think I ever will. I did. But I'm at that age where, you know. The I, hair don't grow back. Mm -mm, I wasn't going to say that, but yeah. Because she's vintage. <laughs> When you're vintage, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's those. And then this is actually the last thing, except for some more books, which I know y'all want to see more books, but this was um, some keys. It was a basket full of keys. Huh? I said, oh, that's what you were showing me. Mm -hmm. It was sitting on the table. Oh. Okay, they tell you don't ever put this in your ignition with all this stuff hanging off. Why not? Because it'll mess up your, it'll drag down your ignition or something, something like that. So these are not old keys, but I thought that I should be able to use them. And maybe I can rust the keys and make them look more uh, vintage as well. I got a whole bunch yes, of keys. Here's some. on this one. Here's some. You can put that on a charm. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I could use that stuff in charms. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Some more keys. I got some a few skeleton keys on here. There's a few old ones on there. Look. Oh yeah, these are really cool. Can, I hope you can see these. I might have to yeah. put my hand behind it or something. A little key. So we got Ooh, lots of keys in here. Some oh, regular keys. That looks like a saint. Oh yeah, another charm. Huh? I'm like, oh, Some more keys. Yeah, we acting like a, we the only ones looking at this. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I can't tell who the saint, whoever this is. Dang, y'all can't tell either. <laughs> <laughs> more keys. So it's just a quite a few keys in here. It's a little dangly, so I got them all in here. And a basket. And a basket, all for a very good price. <laughs> 
Okay, everyone. So that is all the stuff that we have. No, it's uh -huh. not. It's, oh. I got my pretty shirt. I saved my bad. it. Bye, Teresa. I guess you talked too much. Teresa was like, bye, I ain't got time. I got it. She probably got Halloween candy. <laughs> oh, that's right. People got to go out trick-or-treating, not us. Yep. Y'all, you know, I ain't messing with the mosquitoes out there. Yeah, she no. got a shirt. She just saw someone that decorated those keys, and they were awesome. Have to find it. Yeah. Yeah. I was just telling her that I wanted to find some keys, and just so happens at this estate sale, I found some. Yeah, I'm acting like a cat because I don't want to touch my face and my oh, nose is burning now. You're welcome. Thanks, Miss Liz. You're welcome. So I was I was very happy to share the live stream with Bobby today because we have like so much in common. So when we get together, usually all we do is we talk all day long and we don't do anything. Oh yes, it's beautiful. Thank you. My shirt, uh, pink Sally. <laughs> pink, pink Sally. You know what, Penny? I love you too. Liz has nothing but wonderful things to say about you, and I got to hear you talking, and I loved it. Oh, oh, you gotta go get some Halloween candy now. I know, I know, y'all up there in the snow. Y'all don't need to go nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, you better get it already. Down here, the kids are like sweating in their costumes. <laughs> yeah, get us out of this, mommy. Oh, <laughs> all right, y'all. So we are going to go ahead and shove off. It was a lot of fun. We're gonna drink so, wine. Yeah, we're gonna go drink some wine and watch some TV <laughs> and listen to some podcasts and just laugh and giggle and shuck and jive and talk about. Oh, wait a minute. I got a story for y'all. <laughs> I forgot we have a story for you. Do you if you want to hear the story before we go off, then y'all have to say yes. Just put yes if you want to hear the story uh, that we have. Because I know some people are already shoved off because of the delay. Penny says yes. So Penny says yes. If I get like 10 yeses, then I'll do it. Okay, Penny we got four, three. Five. Let's see. We got five, we got six, seven. <laughs> we got seven yeses. Can we get three more yeses out there? Maybe. Well, Penny gave Maybe. us three. She gave us three? Okay. This is the story. Okay. Oh, there we go. Penny gave us three more. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I told her now she has a story to take home with her. So today, we went to a few um, thrift stores, and one of my favorite thrift stores, I told you all about this, is... <laughs> the um there's a hospital thrift store it's it's associated with a hospital but you know it's not you know you don't get hospital stuff there or anything but it's quite nice so i took her there and she actually she really loved that thrift store she was like you should have took me here first and that's why i got that shirt for like a dollar yeah it, and the prices are really good and the people are so nice and sweet and everything so we got our stuff and we we had our stuff and we got up to the counter and we just as we were paying for our stuff now the lady that was going through the stuff i had already pulled her stuff to the side and i had my stuff like on the side of the counter and she was going through it and telling us how much it was when let me describe this dude to you okay this dude comes running in he was had no shoes on. He was walking around just in his socks going, oh, oh my God, oh, oh, I've been walking, I don't got no shoes on. He had his hair was all, it looked like it was oily, but he had a like an empty bottle of water. So I think he had poured it on his head. So it was 90 degrees out here today. And he was just dirty and disheveled. And so dirty. automatically we're like, what's going on with this dude? And he was acting really erratic because he was just like, I mean, he was doing this the whole time. <sighs> he, was like, he was like, I got to call somebody. I got to call somebody. Can I call somebody? And so the lady at the counter was like, I think she was freaking out a little bit too. Uh, she should have been. And she was like, well, who do you want to call and stuff? And he was like, I got to call my dad. I got to call my dad. He's going to pick me up or whatever. He was just really erratic and everything. You could tell that he was on drugs or That whatever. was some activity. Yeah. And then so she was trying to call the number. He gave her the wrong number and stuff. And, and at the same time while she was calling the number, this guy, y'all, this guy, was like bent over my stuff on the counter 
with with that dripping hair and i was like oh i was thinking in my mind oh no we're gonna be taking some dna home with us i don't want no dna on my stuff yeah. you just kept on just, now penny said now i want one. just wait penny hold on penny. <laughs> hold on so um finally so she let he, she got the phone call through and obviously his family have been through this before because the guy didn't even really want to talk to him on the telephone. He said, call 911. So, the, okay, so she finally is able to get the number out of this dude. And he is literally, the lady is right here and he's back behind her, right by the cash register, basically. And she calls the, the dad and was like, hey, um, this guy's claiming to be your son. You, uh, he wants to speak to you. And apparently dad was like, you tell him to call 911. And was like hung up. So she goes, well, he told you to call 911. He's like, ah, and <laughs> let me get the phone. And so he walks in behind there. She lets behind him Behind the at, counter. Yes. And meanwhile, she's still cashing us out. And I was like, I'm looking around like, well, let's see what we got around here in this thrift store that I can hit this man with. <laughs> If he comes anywhere near And I'm thinking, woman. is the door clear? We need to run for the door. <laughs> Let me look. Okay, where's so, our stuff at? We both thinking, she. I'm ready for violence. And I'm ready to run. <laughs> <laughs> we got fight and flight going on. <laughs> Either way, he's flipping out on the phone. And oh my God. So finally, he gets to, what, what is he doing on the phone? He's just sitting there. I guess his mama hung up on him too, so he's like. And he's holding the telephone, so the phone can't even ring and stuff. Oh, the phone did ring. The phone rang one time. I guess he was holding the thing, holding the phone thingy, whatever it is, down. And she's like, she turned around, and he was like, oh, that was nobody. It was a recording. He hung up on whoever it was on the phone. <laughs> sat down here behind this woman while she handing us, you know, playing with cash. And he like acting like he on the phone. You don't own the phone, sir. <laughs> Get from back behind there. So I touched that woman's hand. I was like, ma'am, I'm going to go get your co-workers because he don't and need I was to be back. You want me to call that one? Right. And I was whispering. And when I said, I whispered so low. I was like, you want me to call that one? And that joker was like, what? <laughs> You gonna call who? And he sure was staring. <laughs> so and, I, and, I, and I didn't say anything after that. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he says, hey, he looked at us, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he looked at, and he said, can y'all take us down the road? Uh-uh. <laughs> he was like, no, no, mm, no. <laughs> he didn't even get it out of his mouth. I looked over at her and I was like, I was like, mm -mm. no, <laughs> you. sir, we ain't taking you nowhere. You can forget that, Jack. Hell no, I'm gonna say that. Hell no. <laughs> she got tears in her eyes. So I get my stuff and I was like, Liz had already left out the door with her stuff and I'm still paying. But she didn't know what I was doing though. I was calling the police. I, and I didn't know what she was doing. I went outside and I was calling the police. And um, I called 911 when I went out there because I, I don't know why I the ladies' co workers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the ladies' co workers wasn't calling 911. They, maybe they did. But I went outside. I asked her what the address was. So, what's the address? I went outside and I started calling. And then I don't know what happened on the inside. What happened when I left out? When she left, I got my stuff. I was dropping it on the floor. She was trying to put it in the bag. I was snatching it and throwing the bag and <laughs> dropping it on the floor. And I took my stuff, tied it up, and I marched myself around the corner and was like, uh, you got to need to get up there because your coworker has somebody be, this man is right behind the desk and he's like, ah, blah, 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 blah. and she's like, oh, okay, well, our other guy is up there and he's lurking. You know, he was walking around. I didn't even notice him. He I was didn't either. At least he wasn't being, he wasn't noticeable. But the thing is, is that maybe he should have made himself known so that that man could get the heck out. She said, so you the bought the DNA? Girl, Liz cheap. bought that DNA. <laughs> it was cheap. I she had to show did. I had to take the DNA, y'all. We got some good old CSI evidence <laughs> if they need it. So anyway, she's like, oh, okay. But that man should have made himself known. Look, I'm right here. Knock it off. And he didn't. 
So, so I was outside, and then the guy came outside too. He couldn't hear what I was saying because I stopped talking when he came out. And the first thing he said, you calling the police on me? And I said, mind your business. And then I told him exactly, I said, mind, I said, ain't no your business. So I'm on the phone with mind your business and get away from me. And then he goes, oh my God, what are you doing to me? And he runs off. <laughs> Yeah, because he came back in, right? He came back in. He came no, out. No, this came I had in. come out by then, oh, and I saw did. you calling, and he was like, ah. <laughs> and then he mysteriously had his damn shoes on. I'm sorry, cousin. <laughs> he had his shoes on. I said he found the shoes, <laughs> and he and he oh, was talking right. to some lady out there because I had went when he was outside. I had went back in. Because I was trying to get the lady's information on the inside. So when the police called, they would call her back and not me and stuff. And he was outside talking to another customer. And I was like, hey, this is the address. This guy is acting erratically. You can tell he's on drugs. They were like, what he wearing? He got on a white, dirty-ass shirt. <laughs> he, he got on some black shorts, no socks, brown shoes. His hair looked like it had been washed in about 10 years. <laughs> and he was just dirty. And he was just acting crazy. And I was running, excuse me, sir. Okay, is this direct? Is that south or north? What direction is that? And I finally got somebody say it was like west. South. Or no, south. I said south. And I was like, okay, south. South. <laughs> Tell me walking in south. So I told the police where he was going and everything. And then we went back in and we talked to the lady and stuff. And she said, apparently, this has happened before and stuff. But, but she was like, thank you. And we was like, thank you. Because <laughs> now we have a story. Yeah. <laughs> that so was. that's the whole story, but yeah. So there wasn't any fighting, and I didn't get to hit nobody no. with a nice vintage glass. And you know what? I wasn't even scared or anything. I wasn't scared of him. I was just ready to. I was like more scared for the people that was in the shop than me. I was like, because they just, they was like, they were like, Petrified or something. No, I was concerned about that. Every, everybody that was shopping scared. in the store pretty much stopped what they were doing. They did. Yeah, they were all like, <laughs> not that lady that was behind the counter that had her purse. It was a lady behind it. She had a purse sitting right by that man. I told the lady at the counter, I said, look, you need to get that purse. And tell that woman, she mm -hmm. goes, ma'am, get your purse. Lady. And you like, know oh. what? The guy, I didn't know that he worked there, but when he walked by, he told the cashier the same thing. Get the purse. But he whispered it, though. He didn't say it out loud. Oh, yeah, I was he like, told get, it, get the purse. purse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, everything worked out. I, we got a little DNA. That's all right. Because, you know, I mean, it's vintage stuff. <laughs> now Mitch we got some always new, have a little DNA. On a it. little old, a little new DNA. Yeah, um, both of them. You know, if the police need me to, you know, provide anything, I got it. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> I was proud of myself. I was able to describe him, but actually, I was looking at him walking down the street. She was. <laughs> White, dirty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow magic Black shoes. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and somehow magic shoes that he didn't have on when he was telling. He, I didn't even know he had kicked his shoes off until I went around. The yeah, corner. he came in. Oh, dad. When he got on the phone talking to that old oh, dad and walking around barefoot. <laughs> and so I guess he thought that he had to, like, in order for him to tell the story, he had to like play it out. So he kicked his shoes off so he could tell his dad he'd been walking, he said his feet was hurting. And, and then he, he was, was all grabbing his feet. He's all behind the counter doing all like this. Uh, oh my God, my feet. Oh, <laughs> I don't walk like 10 miles. Oh my goodness. He you was like <laughs> snitching on people. <laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> hey, that was, was a like, nice thrift store. I got that shirt for a dollar. And them socks for 50 cents. And the story, priceless. Ting. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the story, you all. So now we're going to shove off for real. And don't forget, if you need a mug that looks like Bobby, it says love, peace, and hair grease on it. <laughs> You can go over shameless plug to pleasantcreations.com and pick that up. Also, you can join us over in the Facebook group. And that would be Junk Journal Buddies. Link is in the description below. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet and lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. Lizzie. <laughs>
somebody. <laughs> have a best, have a fantabulous day and enjoy life. We love you, Penny. We love you, Penny. We love you all. <laughs> all right, talk to y'all later. Thanks for coming on with us. Now we gotta figure out how to turn this off because I ain't got nobody. Y'all don't know how to turn it off. Okay, there we go. Okay, bye. bye. bye.